Yeah, it's on this. We sound all right, right? I think so, and we're recording now. So, uh, hello, everyone. This is the Hodlecast, um, episode 47, and today is September 23rd, and we're on with uh, the Hoddle brand, um, coming straight out of uh, Toronto, I believe, my uh, one of my favorite yeah. cities in the world. <laughs> so, yeah, can you guys yes. uh, introduce yourselves? Yes, uh, so we're... Uh, we started Hoddle Brand uh, this year. My name is David Cosgrove, and my son, uh, Dylan Cosgrove, uh, is in charge of uh, marketing and video editing. Videography, uh, filming, producing, uh, all the online stuff that uh, he can't do. So, <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for young blood. Yes, exactly. And I saw the video you did, Dylan, of the, uh, it looks like it was a conference in Toronto. Um, it was really yes. Video. Yeah. The Ken Ken Bozak ex Hotel brand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys that know? one was fun. Oh, I think you're cutting out there. Oh shoot! I said, how how did there you guys meet Ken? Uh, funny enough, okay, so uh, me and Ken go back to the very first time that I actually met Tone Vays. Actually, this is where the story starts. Can we start that way? Can we go that direction? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, I used to be, you know, we'll get back to where I got into Bitcoin first, but, you know, I saw Tone Vays and I saw his videos in the morning brief when he was even smaller. He was just two or three guys, but Jimmy Song was along with him. Mm -hmm. And I noticed he, you know, his hair was thinning and he, he was wearing hats and he finally got a hat made by another gentleman. And I'm like, I can make a nicer hat and I have thinning hair as well. So... I like hats and I don't like really sports teams and all stuff. I said, you know what, let's make another hat and we'll, we'll meet up with him in, when he's in Toronto and we're going to give him hats. We'll give some hats out. So I ended up meeting, meeting uh, Max Kaiser and a bunch of other people and some guys from Ottawa. Now those people that I met in Ottawa ended up knowing Ken Bozak and then I started getting a connection with him and going to different uh, conferences in Ottawa and Toronto and now we've become friends. In fact, I, I, I know him so well, I, I end up designing a hat that I think would, you know, it's not quite out there as much as Ken Bozak, but this is what I came up with. Um, uh, awesome. In there. It's orange, you know. Ken mm -hmm. has orange hair sometimes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, he, he's uh, you know a great guy and uh, we were, he was able to help me in that first video production that we did for uh, it was called Untraceable uh, and that event uh, you know the, I think her name's Tracy she 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 was blown away by our the video that uh, that we ended up producing together and his editing is you know this thing, why don't you tell Dylan? Why don't you tell him how you got into the space, like as in just for YouTube for in general? Editing and yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay. So I started off. I was probably like, I started making videos as soon as YouTube came out, probably like yeah. in the backyard with like a, a snow jumper down the hill when it was snowing. <laughs> anyway, so well, I made a video back then, and then I don't know. I just got into it. Uh, I, I think I really got into YouTube when I was like ten or eleven. I just did gaming. Nothing crazy, just a laptop with a webcam filming myself play. And then I obviously got older and wanted to go and make better things. So bought a camera, stabilizer, uh, been shooting like videos like I did for Ken Bozak and Hodel Brand. And I also, now I'm doing music videos as well. So I've done it for a couple of kids at my school. So like I've kind of just gone everywhere with this. I can do almost anything. I've been doing it for so long. So it's just like second nature when it comes to... Uh, that's awesome. Editing. You're never going to have uh, career problems with that skill. That's for sure. Everyone. Yeah. Knows. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to really kick off. It hasn't gone too far yet, but oh, no, wow. it's, it's more of a hobby right now. Yeah. That's my whole thing. It's a hobby. Mm -hmm. It is a hobby, but he has 10,000 followers. So I don't know if you call it a hobby, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a lot of followers. <laughs> and he hasn't actually been that current lately, but I mean, uh, well, I've been working on other things, right? Right. Yeah. So, He's, he's got his options open and that's kind of what I'm about as well. Like when I've opened up Hoddle brand, uh, you know, it's about hats at first, but it's really more than that. Um, I really, I want to design a clothing, uh, you know, a collection of hats and then go into shirts, sweaters and, you know, 
some discreet, real nice stuff that people who are in the space can, you know, will really connect with because they understand Bitcoin and they like to show off that they're in that space. And, you know, but at the same time, not be tacky, like in your face with something that's, you know, I, I find some of it's overproduced kind of, right? Yeah. What was that? Oh, I was, I should, it wasn't a good joke, but I was saying like some, some of the shirts I've seen in Bitcoin, like they're just big, like it'll be like a Bitcoin logo or something. It's not, um, you know, in any way, like yours are a little more subtle and hodl. People might look at it and be like, oh, what's that? You know, it could spark a conversation or, uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It can spark a quick because I'm going to give you a conversation about how it even happened. So my yeah. friend, I first originally made, uh, I don't have the original, you, you have the original hat that, um. No, I, I was wearing Leah? that one one day, but oh. I was borrowing it from Leah. It's her hat. Oh, I know. You know what? I have one right here. So this is the hat. This is the actual hat that Leah wears, and she okay, loves yeah. it. It's one of her favorite hats, and it actually has the, I call it the, I call it the OG, because it's just a box logo. It says HODL on it. It's in orange, because obviously it's Bitcoin, and then we added on the back, we added the Bitcoin HODL. Can we see that? Sorry. And then uh, it actually has a typeset of the B in the O. The typeset uh, B is actually the the texting format of Bitcoin. So it's basically a B with a line through it. And that's actually what it's going to become uh, when we start texting and paying and talking about Bitcoin, that it's just going to become a B that you touch on your mm -hmm. phone. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. So then uh, my, my friend, he, he kind of is like, oh, we can do a better logo than that. Let's make a logo. So like, because anyone could just put HODL on something. So then we came up with uh, these two squirrels. And he really liked negative space. I, I guess you can get it in. Oh, that's hard to see. I got it. Okay. But it. he really likes negative space. So he designed something where, you know, there's two, it's actually two images in one. And at the same time, uh, it, it has a story. And, and the story goes like this, like two squirrels are hanging on to this acorn because in the future, they understand that it's going to be worth a lot of money. Like, especially if they're hibernating, they're going to need it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin, people who hold on to Bitcoin, they understand in the future of really what we're talking about, right? Like $6,000 is not even anywhere near where it's going to be worth just because of the non-inflationary uh, uh, that Bitcoin has, right? There's only 21 million uh, available. And, and so it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. it's been he gave me the stop there. So I think <laughs> he must have, he didn't, he must have no, been rambling around a lot. Oh, that's what he's trying to I do. Know. That's yeah. actually why I had to have him on here because <laughs> I didn't want to be nervous and he's got a good, you know, head space around here. And so I figured... With him sitting beside me, you give me a little more confidence. Aw, you guys are adorable, father and son. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's my best friend as well. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. And wow. good teammates. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, my friend Donnie Fairborn, he's the actual guy behind the actual design. He's he's that's his whole thing. He's into marketing and um, what would you call that? Computer design. Yeah, and he he he's the one that really brought this forward, and then it was just a matter of bringing it into an embroidery shops and finding out what works and what what size it needs to be, and it's basically taken since April to now to get a hat that's to the tech like to the level that it's at right now, which is definitely now it's a professional looking hat that can be sold, and it's you know it's got all its things worked out, but we still have a long way to go because. I want to bring in, like I said, uh, some more shirts, some other cool things. And, and then actually going from there, I, like I, I know we're touching on a lot of subjects here, but I'm really interested in health. So HODL life is kind of like where I want to go with that. And um, yeah. So like what, supplements or... What, how well, it not supplements. No, I actually want to kind of like it be a lifestyle because if you want to hold on, let's get like hold on for dear life. Like that's what HODL really means, right? So hot, hold on for dear life is like kind of a mindset that you can use in everyday life as well. Right? You know, let me give you, let me just go backwards again. It's going to be a long story. I'm going to ramble on, but oh, I'm, a, I'm a contractor. 
I work on ladders for 20 years. So I hold on for dear life every day because I hold on that ladder to put up my aluminum work and everything. And, you know, and I'm safe up there. I also own motorcycles, like a, I have a GSXR 1000. So I hold on for dear life on that as well, because that's an extreme sport. Like I like to go really fast, right? It's calculated risk, I call it. But uh, and then going from there, uh, lifestyle-wise, I became since last what was it November? So almost one year ago, I became a vegetarian. And then I educated myself into more and then I became a vegan. And then I found out that that's actually, you can still be a vegan and not actually be that healthy. So yeah, I then I started doing more homework and getting like, you know, uh, finding, I found this amazing doctor called Dr. Furman and he has an awesome website, drfurman.com, which is F U H R M A N. I'm sure we can put that in the bottom. Sure. Uh, with with the notes and stuff like that, but he's got a very simple message, and uh, you know, if you want to hold on for dear life, you got to take care of your health as well, right? So the way that we can do that is by eating a nutrition diet, which is a nutrient dense diet. So that just means that we make sure that we cover all of our bases so we get our nutrition ba balance. And at the, at, by doing that and getting ourselves tested to get baselines to find out where we are deficient, then we, cause you know, no diet works for everybody. It's, you know, lifestyle is you got to listen to your body. You got to listen to what works for you, you know, and, 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 and he's got this whole thing. It's called G bombs. And that's just an acronym for greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds, which includes nuts. So you can eat as much as you want of these things and you will not gain any weight because these things are anti-glycemic. They, uh, greens, I mean, you can eat as much greens as you want. You will never gain, like you can't eat enough greens to get full really. So, and your nuts and all these things, when you eat this way, you will find that you'll lose weight. You will feel better. You'll detox yourself. And then at, at the end of the day, you'll start to feel amazing and uh, you'll, your immune system actually can become super immune and dis-ease or disease will actually vanish from you, your life all by one. And that's actually the way to heal yourself, just by loving yourself and caring for what you put in your mouth yeah. because you are what you eat. That's so, I love that you said that my, that's my that's such a difference from the Bitcoin carnivore diet where they're not eating any vegetables. They're just eating meat, um, which I, I, so I have a friend in Saskatchewan, Tim, who was my, he started off as my massage therapist, but over the years, like he's just become kind of my health mentor or spiritual mentor. I don't know what to call it, but, uh, he also, um, He's a big proponent of eating, you know, like the more vegetables you eat. And uh, he likes fasting too for, for, you know, not too long, but like just lemon water. And he says anything you eat, you really got to chew it and love your food, appreciate yes. eating, all that. It makes me feel good when I remember uh, to do it. But a lot of the time. I'm yeah, just the great thing about chewing, the great thing about chewing is you actually then can enjoy and taste the food. But that chewing motion, when you chew up greens, it, the chemicals that actually come from this are actually what is anti-cancerous, anti-inflammatory. So that's why like anything, once you process food, you're making it so something else broke it up. So there are those chemicals aren't going to be in that food. So, you know, you're not getting any of the health benefits from the food. Once you process food, that's why it's so important to have raw food and to, you know, do as less processing as possible, which means buy life, you know, you know, you know, produce, and you know, and 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 and, and you know, high nutrient uh, foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So then, how will mm -hmm. you incorporate that with the Hoddle brand? Well, I, like I do have the website hoddlelife.ca as well, and so I, I don't really like 
I'm not actually trying to make money from it in really any of it. It's really just about, you know, giving people something that they want and, and, and enjoy. And then with regards to lifestyle, it's about informing people the truth because I find that if you, you can find a diet, which the word diet already is a bad word if you think about it because the word die in it. So you don't want to be on a diet. Right. You want to, you want to be, you want to have a live in a lifestyle that, you know, creates longevity that creates, you know, uh, lots of energy because who wants to get old and then not be able to enjoy life. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Yeah. And our, unfortunately our society, everyone, because they're eating foods, that unfortunately that are laden with chemicals and, you know, there's not really that much nutrition in it. Where you know that you're seeing it in the United States and in abroad, where you're seeing people that are overweight, but they're actually starving themselves to death because they're eating, you know, processed white food, right? That's bleached and you know it's void of hardly anything. And and I, I don't know if you know this, but there's a calculation for longevity, and it's actually really easy. It's it's calories divided by nutrient density. So the more nutrient dense food that you eat, the longer you will live. Easy as it's that simple of a message. And that's kind of the message that I want to show about how like, you don't need to spend all this money on all these things. All you gotta do is start spending money on, you know, good food and loving yourself and, and, and then keeping yourself active, obviously not stressed and enjoying life because that's what life's for. Life is about being right. We're human being. And if you're not in the moment, you'll never be there. Oh man, I needed to hear that right now. I'm on this uh, blockchain like libertarian cruise, the Contra Krugman cruise, and I don't have access yes. to the internet on it. And I'm there surrounded by all these amazing people. There's actually a lot of Canadians on the boat. And uh, yeah. we, I'm stressed that I can't see my internet instead of like enjoying my view. And, uh, you know, just to, like, so I, I appreciate you saying that because it kind of like reminded me, oh yeah, life is for enjoying, not for stressing out about it. That's, that's right. That's right. I mean, we've got this basically fake reality that's in front of us. That's you know, kind of, it's the matrix over the other matrix. Like the real matrix is, is nature and, and what God, you know, made for us to enjoy. And then there's the fake matrix, which is the materialism world that kind of runs over top of it, uses the same rules, but it copies, right? Because create creation can only be made by good. It can't be made by uh, someone who's, you know, not not on the right frequencies to allow this to happen right so that's why if you have a good mindset and you live healthy and you take care of others and you think of others you'll find that your manifesting power i think you know you have to have the right mindset becomes that much greater right like i never let people tell me i can't do something i always just do it because i, I listen to myself right and that's the most important message you have to listen to yourself Listen to what feels good. Listen to what, when you eat, what feels good. Well, you know, you're going to know like the, the, the universe and God actually talks to you all the time, but they can't, God can't talk to you in English language. He uses synchronicities to show you that maybe you're going the right direction. So when you have those synchronicities, realize that the universe is talking to you all the time. And it's just kind of like, if you want to have that relationship, you know, cause God is always there to talk to you. And, you know, all of us, some of us, you know, we're in a, some people think there isn't a God and you know what I mean? I have personal experience of where, you know, I was in some deep, dark moments of my life. And when I asked for help, I, let me tell you, he canceled me in five minutes and it was amazing. And, and that's when I really realized, you know, this, you know, you got to start talking to God and he's within you, right? He's within you. And he's there to help you whenever you want. And he's, he's got an open ear and he will guide you. And, and you'll be amazed at the doors that open for you and amazed by the things that can happen to you once you start to have this connection with him. Mm. Yeah, I agree totally. Like uh, the, just the amount, uh, amount of times 
the, those synchronistic, synchronistic type things happen. And it's always if you let yourself get into like a better mood or higher vibration, you just start noticing. Like for me, this might sound silly as that I notice my good mood when I see Porsches. Like they're my favorite car. And if I'm in a good mood, Porsches drive by me all the time. Like I'm like, oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. And then if I'm in a bad mood, right. I'm I never see a Porsche, so it's just funny, like, <laughs> that, but, uh, but it's, a, it's a good reminder to, like, that's my own personal message if I see a Porsche, I'm like, oh, yep, things are on the right path, and uh, it's like my good there luck. There you go, right? Like, <laughs> so that just shows you you've manifested that, actually, right? Because you've been aware of it, and you've been looking for it, it now becomes, it's, it's connected to you, it's got a positive charge towards you for uh, with regards to that right and that it's, it's just living proof of it of these things happening right mm -hmm. now how does it relate like all of that you know manifestation stuff do you think it relates to bitcoin or i mean i guess it would if everything is you know interconnected can we okay well go on. that's that gets me right back into how i even got into bitcoin because i came across some extra funds that i had and i said you know what i really want this money to be invested in something in my future that i you know really can you know it would be a really amazing thing and i i i've heard about bitcoin and i kept on thinking it's a scam and it's the new world order and they're trying to control us and you know they already control us so really we got to wake up and do what we want to do and, and realize that bitcoin actually can be used for good or evil just like money can and you know it's how you choose to use it but there's so many positive things that you know bitcoin itself when it get when it takes over i think over the whole world uh can you have huge changes and everything that how it's done like so we can stop with this monopoly of food that doesn't make any sense to be eating and you know how our world is designed how our movies like i'm sorry it's propaganda right everything that comes from the screens is propaganda social media is propaganda and i just want to have a simple message realizing that people hello just by loving themselves yeah absolutely oh that's beautiful um, and I don't mean to have to cut things short, but I'm a little bit low on the uh, battery and I couldn't, the plug I'm using, um, isn't actually charging my computer right now. So, uh, better kind of cut it off pretty close here, but can, can you tell people where they can find you? Like, uh, your Twitter handle, um, you know, your website, yes. things like that. So Twitter handle, I'm at hodl cap. Uh, and, um, I think you can go hashtag hodl brand, uh, Instagram. I, I am, uh, hodl underscore cap and I'm also Toronto hodl brand. Oh, that's a cool uh, name. <laughs> is it Toronto hodl brand? <laughs> is it just yeah, hodl brand? Marketing oh, master it's hodl brand? Maybe it's hodl brand Toronto because you know, people like, you know, like, what's wrong with knowing what city we're from? You know what exactly, I mean? Like, yeah. can't, people like Canadians, so. <laughs> the six. Uh, and, and then I have the website, hodlcap.ca, hodlbrand.ca. And uh, like I said, uh, Hoddle Life is going to be coming soon. And like I said, it's just, just going to be giving great information, uh, uh, just simple things that people can do and uh, take charge of their life. And maybe help bring some like ease and harmony even into the Bitcoin community since it seems like it's getting so divided with all these different camps. You know, there's the uh, the maximalists, the Ethereum people, the um, yes. Bitcoin Cash, and they're all kind of fighting with each other. The EOS group. Uh, so maybe you'll be the yeah. one to bring some harmony <laughs> and together. Yeah. And It'll come together and it'll just uh, move forward and do everything that you know people are hoping it'll do in terms of like uh, you know helping the human condition overall uh, I definitely agree and I think unfortunately our world is set up where we try and divide everything but we you know we are all one and we are all connected and you know there's no need for us to say that you know judge others there's no need for that right you know yeah. if, you want to be judging others, you're going to be judged. So it's your choice, right? But I don't judge others. I just, I try to educate people 
and, and live a lifestyle. And, uh, it, it, you know, if you want to join and try it out, go ahead. Like worst case scenario, lose 20, 30 pounds. You know, if they don't need to lose that, then you just feel better. You know what I mean? But it, it, it's, it's kind of like you got to be ready for it. And it's a jump that you got to be, you got to be ready to do. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you, you could do it the same way I did. Start vegetarian and then start taking out animal products and uh, milk and, and dairy and stuff like that. All right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I really hope to catch up with you at a conference or next time I'm in Toronto or something. Uh, I'll get in touch with That was so cool. My friend Joe Fierincelli, uh, Fierincelli, you know, I worked with, at Templeton with him. And then he said, you got, you know, put us in touch on Instagram. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's another great story in itself. Like, uh, I don't know if we have time for it, but quickly, I was at a at a at a, club, at a, at a party, and he saw my hat, and he knew sat your name, and I'm like, yeah, I think I know her. And then he shows me the podcast, and then Leah Wald, you're in Crystal Springs, uh, Florida, and she's wearing you're wearing my hat. Like, and at that time, really, there's only like 20 or 30 hats out there in the world, and it's amazing. In Twitter world, I see it, people coming together in all parts of the world with my hats on, and there isn't even that many out yet because it's, it's, a, new, it's a new thing, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool, yep. <laughs> but I want to plug, plug my son's YouTube channel, uh, Dill Pickle. Dill no, Pickle. Uh, that, that, he, that's, that's his old school stuff. And then he's got his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, Dylan X Cosgrove, or Dylan X Imagery, which is like kind of my business and personal. So okay. that's where like... If anyone wants to get videos done, even just if it's editing, I can do that. You just send me the clips over, like whatever I, uh, what is it called, iCloud. However, you can get the clips to me, and then I'll get it done. But so work is magic. Yeah. Awesome. I okay. definitely have. A... Send me. Sorry, I might be taking. Here, but. The bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll talk with you soon. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Bye. Bye.